Hello everyone, this is Sir Kurt Lee Ambrose. And you're watching BPL Diaries. spectacle of Ispahani BPL 2024. Rangpur riders set the pitch ablaze with a scorching winning streak, igniting a fierce competition where teams battled relentlessly with the points table hanging in the balance. Chattogram witnessed a week of cricket magic a symphony of bat and ball. Batsmen dominated, bowlers fought tooth and nail, and the gallery energy was electric as fans rallied behind their favourites in massive numbers. As we gear up for the final leg of the Spahani BPL 2024, the stakes have never been higher. Don't miss a beat. Stay tuned to BPL Diaries for the pulse quickening moments on and off the field. Hello and welcome to the third episode of BPL Diaries. Now this tournament has been nothing short for roller coaster of boundaries, triumphs and unforgettable moments. Before we kick off, let's take a sneak peek into our exciting lineup for you this week. Get ready for a thrilling ride on BPL Diaries. First up, we uncovered the journey of Chotogram's new recruit, George Brown, from crafting bats to smashing sixes. This is my special bat that I handcrafted before coming over here. Cricket legend Sir Curdley Ambrose shares his BPL memories and his eternal love for music. If I'm in a relaxed mood, I play some reggae. We'll have a fun chat with Jimmy Nisham uncovering the man behind the cricketer and stay tuned for his witty message to Rangpur teammates. Uh, cricketing idol, uh, Andrew Flintoff. It's a jam-packed episode on BPL Diaries. Let the adventure begin. Cricket maestro Sir Carly Ambrose has graced Ispahani BPL 2024 with his presence. In an exclusive interview, we delved into his captivating journey of BPL and discovered his deep-rooted love for music. Brace yourselves, because Sir Carly Ambrose never fails to deliver surprises. You know, I came with an open mind. Didn't know what to expect. As a matter of fact, when I landed here, and the, the reporter asked me if it's my first time to Bangladesh. I did say yes. And then a couple of days later, somebody brought this score, this score sheet where West Indies played here back in 1999. And I was so surprised, embarrassed even, because I didn't remember coming to Bangladesh before. You know, but I enjoyed my first thing last year. And this year is a lot easier because I know what to expect. They love their cricket here. Every single game, they come out in their numbers, supporting the team, very colorful, very loud, you know, and um, it's really refreshing to see the crowds coming out. So I can tell for sure that they love the cricket here. You know, when I was playing, I've, I've always liked an audience, you know, it gives me that extra pep in my step to do well. You know, it's no different here. I mean, the players here, the atmosphere is really good and the support from, for every team, really. So the guys, you know, once they have a big crowd, you tend to want to perform better. So it's very good for the players as well. I've never played T20. That came in after I'm retired. I mean, it's a, it, it will be the challenge 
I would have loved to play it because it's predominantly for the batsmen. Shorter boundaries, you know, because every, everyone wants to see fours and sixes. So the bowlers are always under pressure. I would have loved to play it just to test myself against the best players in the world because I thrive on competition. It would have been a challenge, but I believe I would have been okay. You know, I mean, we've got international cricketers playing in this BPL, not only from Bangladesh, but other parts of the world. But when I commentate or when I coach, I tend not to look at the international cricketers too much. They've already made their mark and we expect them to do well. I've always focused on younger players who are just coming onto the scene to see what they're like, you know, and any advice I can give them, you know, I'll, I'll do that. So in a few years, when they become top cricketers, I can say, you know, I met him, you know, some years ago when he was just starting his career and I'm happy to see him now. You know, so I tend not to look at the big name players because we all know what they can do. The younger players who are making their mark and just coming on the scene is who I focus on more. I can live without cricket. I don't think I can live without my music. I can't live without my television because I'm, I'm a movie freak as well. So what I know, and of course, my family takes priority today, tomorrow, and always. My go-to song, it just depends on the mood I'm in, right? If I'm in an upbeat mood, I'll put on a calypso, because it's a faster tempo. If I'm in a relaxed mood, I play some reggae. As a coach or a commentator, it doesn't really matter because it's different. The mood doesn't dictate what I do, so it's a little bit different. Now, George Brown has made a thunderous entrance into the cricketing world. And there's more to this cricketing sensation than to what meets the eye. Beyond his remarkable on-field presence, what sets him apart is his mastery in crafting bats. Yes, you heard it right. Join us as we unravel the story of his profound love for cricket and the artistry behind the bats that make him very special. Hi, it's Josh Brown. I'm playing for the Telegram Challenges in BPL 2024. I'm absolutely loving BPL and I'm really enjoying my time in Bangladesh. The crowds have been unreal and my whole team has been unbelievably supportive of me and helping me out a lot. We had the Challenger and that was where it all sort of kicked off when you know, I went out and scored all the runs, which was, which was nice, sort of announced myself. And then I heard that my manager was having talks with, with other franchises about coming over like playing franchise cricket. And I was just like, just hold off. Let me focus on the final. Now we're through the final, so we've got to win the final. But then he told me the day of the final that I had to sign the contract to come over here and play in the big deal. So that was pretty special. And it was such an exciting time. So I think it had me up a little bit more for the final. Uh, I've, been st I've started making bats in 2020. Uh, when I started working with Cooper Cricket, a very exciting time because I didn't have a job back then. So he called me up, he needed some muscle for another part of the business. And then I sort of fell in love with the cleaning up and, you know, repairing of bats. And then we started making the bats there. And yeah, since then, we haven't looked back and I would have made probably 200, 400 bats now at the time I've been there. Like last year was the biggest year. We made, I probably made 200, 150, 200 bats, which is pretty, pretty special. If there was players in the international league that I would want to use my bat, it would probably be uh, Mitch Marsh because his nickname is also the Bison and that's what I've named my bat, the Bison. Yeah, I've got the ticket approval for him, from him for the stickers, which is pretty cool. There's one player in BPL I would lend my bat to. Well, anyone in my team, but from the other team, I'd definitely lend it to Shakib al Hassan. He would be my choice. Fortune Borishal's Kyle Mayers asserted his dominance this season making an immediate impact with a stellar performance against Silet Strikers. For his outstanding performance and display with the bat and ball, he earns the title of our Hero of the Week. Playing his first match of the tournament, Kyle Myers was at his imperious best with the bat scoring a quick-fire 48 of 31 balls, smashing three fours and three big sixes. Myers carried on his good form with the ball dismissing Harry Tector with a big in-swinger and followed it up by scalping Shanto in the same over. 
Myers returned to dismiss Silat captain Mithun to claim his third wicket to end with figures of 3 for 12 in his four overs. And for his all-round performance, Kyle Myers is our hero of the week. It's been like six weeks playing two games. Uh, always happy to be out on the park, you know, and not only out on the park, but performing. So happy with my first game here in the BPL. I thought it was a great game. Um, thought we set a good platform with the bat, and then we came with the ball and we did well. Uh, I thought I enjoyed the bowling. It was much easier, obviously, because the pitch was a little difficult. You know, um, normally those kind of innings, you don't see them too often from me. But I, mean, I got that today and I really enjoyed it. In this vibrant atmosphere of the Ispahani BPL 2024, Jimmy Nisham is savoring every moment. And so am I. However, as Jimmy Nisham immerses himself into team dynamics, his camaraderie deepens offering us a glimpse into his impressions of his teammates he's getting to know better, but in his own way, his the Nisham way. Hi, this is Jimmy Nisham and you're watching BPL Diaries, your one-stop shop for everything BPL. Uh, my jersey number is uh, 50, no real reason, my partner's lucky number is five and five was taken in New Zealand by Chris Harris so he played about 400 games for New Zealand so I wasn't much chance of uh, stealing that off him so yeah. Rangpur Riders buddy uh, Tom Moores has been the one that's hung on to my coattails for most of the tournament. He's uh, late for everything, he's never on time for anything he wants to do. Uh, cricketing Idol uh, Andrew Flintoff, big scene bowling all rounder, hit the ball a long way, had a bit of fun. My fitness mantra, uh, for me it's just about being professional. I, I think, you know, being fit and being strong isn't going to guarantee you runs, but at least if you get single figures and you're in good nick, then you can't look at that and say that it was because you're lazy. Favourite shot, well, well my, oh, my go-to shot is just high and long over long on, obviously and I'll let you know about my teammates a little bit better. The GOAT, the, the GOAT spin bowling all rounder of T20 cricket, I think, he's, he's unbelievable. Uh, calmness and uh, good leadership. Uh, cool, cool and calm, all the Western Indian boys are. <laughs> the pensioner, <laughs> he just keeps going. 500 wickets the other day, which is unbelievable. Pocket rocket. Test match bowler. <laughs> as the players walk off, take a moment to catch your breath as we ease into a brief interlude. Stay tuned because we'll be right back with more exhilarating action. Good to have you back. Now in the cricketing world, there are stars and there are superstars. So who's the fans favorite? Who holds the title of the superstar for the Rangpur Riders? It's none other than... Sakibal Hassan. Sakibal Hassan, one of our own. I am also Sakibal Hassan. I am also one of our own. I am also one of our I am also one of our own. I am also one of our own. I am also one of our own. I am also one Riders is it? Karun Sakibal Hassan, a team, a genie, a mother, on a favorite actor, Halwar Uni, Shikarne, Amar Monohai, Amar Amarak to Prani Monohai, Eber Sakibal Hassan, Kap Nibi. Bangladesh at Vitore, all rounder Kalwar, act number B. Sir Vitore, Shekono Dolas Abe, Shekono Dole, Kap Niam Artega Pirbe.
মোদের গরব মোদের আশা আমরই বাংলা ভাষা ভাষার মাস ফেব্রুয়ারিতে চট্টগ্রামে খেলা চলছে বাংলাদেশ প্রিমিয়ার লীগ শেষ দিন আমরা বিশেষ কিছু উদ্যোগ নিয়েছি ভাষার মাস ফেব্রুয়ারিকে উৎসর্গ করে সকল ভাষা সৈনিক এবং শহীদদের প্রতি বিনম্র শ্রদ্ধা এবং ভালোবাসা জানিয়ে কিছু উদ্যোগ নেওয়া হয়েছে তারই মধ্যে একটি হচ্ছে আমরা যে পাঞ্জাবি পরে এসেছি আপনারা দেখতেই পাচ্ছেন যে আমার পোশাক পরিবর্তন হয়ে গেছে সো আমরা যত ধারাভাষ্যকারেরা আছি সবাই আমরা পাঞ্জাবি পড়েছি বাংলা বর্ণমালা সহ পাঞ্জাবি পড়েছি এবং সকল ভাষাভাষী যে ধারাভাষ্যকারেরা আছে তারা সবাই মিলে সকলেই একটু একটু করে হলেও বাংলা বলবার চেষ্টা করেছে চলুন দেখে আসি আর কি কি হয়েছে এই ভাষার মাসে এই ফেব্রুয়ারিতে সকলে ভাষার সৈনিক ও শহীদদের জানাই বিনম্র শ্রদ্ধা আমার ভাইয়ের রক্তে রাঙানো একুশে ফেব্রুয়ারি আমি কি ভুলিতে পারি এই গুরুত্বপূর্ণ দিনে সকল শহীদ যারা মৃত্যুবরণ করেছেন তাদের প্রতি আমার বিনম্র শ্রদ্ধা এবং আমরা সবাই মিলে তাদের স্মরণ করি এবং বাংলাকে এগিয়ে নেওয়ার চেষ্টা করি The penultimate day of the Shotrugam leg gave us a nail-biting thriller and left the fans thinking, how did the game come to this? From a blazing start in the power play to a bowler registering the best figures of this season, the game had it all. He is reliving the epic climax between the table toppers, Rangpur Riders and Fortune Borishal, which qualifies to be the match of the week. Just seven needed for the Rangpur Riders to seal Goes in the air, but it's the gap. Who might have the off stump? And for the batter to free his arms. Goes deep. It's in the air. It's Pritam Kumar running in. Oh! He's got it on the second attempt. Bit of a fumble yet again. Goes for it. Goes straight to the fielder. It's This defense was of immense value. Wow, what a scintillate. What is going to be? Edged. Four runs. They were made to work hard. What a game of cricket. Rangpur would be very... very সামারাইজ যদি বলেন আলহামদুলিল্লাহ ফার্স্ট অফ অল আল্লাহ আমার জন্য সহজ করে দিয়েছে আজকে এই ম্যাচটা তো এটা আমার কেরিয়ার বেস্ট পারফরমেন্স বিপিএলে আমার প্রথম পাঁচ উইকেট খুবই হ্যাপি আর টিম ম্যানেজমেন্ট খুবই সাপোর্ট করেছে আমাকে ম্যাচে নামার আগে আর আমি প্র্যাকটিসেও খুব হার্ড ওয়ার্ক করেছি যাতে আমি ম্যাচে ডেলিভার করতে পারি সো এটা আসলে সবসময় খুব ব্যাক অফ দ্য মাইন্ড সবসময় ভালো একটা অনুপ্রেরণা দিবে যে আমি পাঁচ উইকেট পেয়েছি বিপিএলে সবাই সবাই নার্ভাস ছিল সবাই একটু টেন্স ছিল স্পেশালি আমাদের ম্যানেজার সানিয়ান ভাই সানিয়ান ভাই একটু বেশি টেন্স ছিল As we wrap up this week's edition of the BPL Diaries, we trust you relished every moment. Join us again next week for some more excitement of the Ispahani BPL 2024. Until then, we leave you with some of the most electrifying catches of the tournament so far. Until next week, it's a bye-bye to the port city of Chattogram. We'll see you back in the capital with the business end of the tournament. Bye-bye from Chattogram.